Page 8. Oh, Susanna. Well, this is kind of interesting. We're kind of getting out of this middle C position slightly. Moving around a little more. Have a couple new notes to learn. They show them there at the top. Let's just talk about them. I'm going to start with the left hand. Bottom staff. You already know where middle C is. And the new note, you see it there, it, they, it's a D. They have it labeled for you underneath the staff. It's there in the first full measure. It's a D. And that's right above, D is right above middle C, A, B, C, D, right? And this D there is sitting on top of that line where middle C is on the line. The line goes through it. The D is just above the line. And that's this D. You can use the thumb again. Thumb has to do double duty. That's okay. You can do that. Eventually, you're going to want to get where you can play the thumb with either note without looking at the keyboard. You can feel that going up or down one key. And you just know you're there. In the right hand, the new note is a B. Again, you got middle C here, and that's on that little line below the staff. Well, the B is under that line. You see it in the next measure. They label it for you, a B. And then here, and again, the thumb just... So the thumb is doing that. And where the left hand thumb is doing that, well, isn't this going to be fun? Huh? So you need to know these notes. Just memorize them. The B and the D, where they are in the music. At the bottom of the page, they want you to read aloud the names of the notes. Well, I prefer to use the music. I mean, you can do that at the bottom of the page, but I, I suggest you use the music. Do them all. Just put your hands where they go. Here. And it's at the beginning, it's G, A, B, D, D, E, D, B, G, A, B, B. say the names of the notes. I go a little quick. You can go slower than that, but use the music and make sure you know the names of these notes instantly. That's what we're after, eventually. If you don't know them instantly, then that tells you you need to keep drilling. As we go through the book and go through these pieces, you need to keep drilling on the names of the notes. Now, once you can play the notes, okay, now we'll add the counting. And again, in 4-4 four, four time, every major's got to have four counts in it because that's what the top number is for. How far do you count? You count to four. Every major's got to have four counts. Look at the first full measure. It's got four quarter notes in it. Well, a quarter note gets a count because that's what the bottom four stands for, the quarter note. And that's okay, but if you look at the first measure, it's got two eighth notes in it. Well, that's equal to one count, one quarter note. It's got to be three counts someplace else. And if you look at the last measure at the bottom, it's a dotted half note. And that's the same as three quarter notes. You can get a calculator if you need one. The point is the first three beats are at the bottom and the last beat is at the top. So we're coming in on beat four. Four and one and two and that's all. And as far as counting the eighth notes, I'm lazy. I only count them when I need it. So I'm not going to go four and one and two and three and four and one and two because there's a few eighth notes. I'm just going to count regular one, two, three, four until I get to the eighth notes and then I'll add the and. One, two, three, four and one and two, three and four and one. So I just put in the counting as I need it where I need it. So you go through and learn this piece, count it. And then go back through and work on those spots where you're hesitating and get rid of the hesitation so the beat is a steady beat all the way through. Then when you're ready, come back to the video to the play with me section. Let's play it together slowly to make sure you got the right notes and the right rhythms. You should be playing the same note I'm playing at the same time I'm playing. I'm going to give us three counts because we're coming on beat four. One and ready and go and then we go. So go ahead and put your hands where they go at the beginning, where they need to go. They're kind of overlapping, but that's all right. When you're first putting that, because you're here and you're here, you're in the way, 
get your thumbs out of the way and we'll use this we'll bring the thumb up when we need it but right now we're just going to pull it like that and we'll adjust as we the other fingers stay where they are it's just the thumbs got to get out of the way one and ready and go and four and one 